Hello and welcome to another YouTube tutorial from Hands-On Engineering for Arduino Basics. In this lab, we'll be going over how to incorporate a GPS module into our Arduino systems. The GPS module we'll be using is the Adafruit Ultimate GPS, the Arduino is an Arduino Nano, and then we also have a handful of wires that we use to connect the Arduino to the GPS. Those are the only materials required for this entire lab. However, we do recommend going over the labs related to the hardware serial interfacing and open log interfacing. These labs are linked in the description below and we highly recommend either watching them before this video or going back and referring to them if you have questions on some of the concepts related to how we're connecting the GPS to the Arduino and also printing that information to the computer later on. We will be assuming that you understand these concepts as we proceed in this lab, so it's important that you either understand them or can refer back to those notes. Now we'll look over how we set up this circuit that connects the GPS to the Arduino. It's quite simple in that there's only four wires. We connected the 5 volt line to the VN pin on the GPS. This is what supplies the GPS power. We connected the ground pin on the Arduino to ground on the GPS, and then we connected the RX and TX pins on the GPS to two different pins on the Arduino. In our case, we connected the orange wire to the RX pin, which is connected to D3, the blue wire from the TX pin on the GPS to D2. Since the blue wire is connecting TX and D2, that means that D2 in our code will be the RX pin. Since the orange wire is connecting D3 to RX, that means D3 will be our transmitting pin in our code. We must make note of this for when we go and write our code because otherwise our program will not function properly. I'd also like to briefly discuss how GPS strings are formatted and what they'll look like when they're received on the Arduino. So GPS strings all begin with a dollar sign and end with a new line. This means that every line you can expect to have the same format. However, within those lines, they contain different information that is designated by the letters that come immediately after the dollar sign at the beginning of each line. So the line we're interested in is dollar sign G P G G A. This line contains latitude, longitude, and altitude information, which is the information we're most interested in when we're building a GPS system. Thus, we will be looking for this line in particular when we are writing our algorithm later on. Now that we've got these basics covered, we can move on to writing code in order to print all of the uh, information to the serial monitor raw without any additional parsing. Let's get to that. All right, now that we've gone over our circuit and gotten what pins are connected to the Arduino, we can go over the software in order to just print everything to the serial monitor that's being transmitted from the GPS to the Arduino. This is gonna give us a better feel for what the information is actually gonna look like when we see it on the Arduino. So to do that, we just need to include the software serial library up here, so include software serial.h, and then make some integers for the RX and TX pins on the Arduino, which if you remember was two for RX and three for TX. It might be different for you, and if it is, you just need to change the values here. Then we instantiate an object of software serial called GPS and pass it the RX and TX pins. Inside of setup, we begin communications at a baud rate of 9600 with the GPS and at a baud rate of 9600 for the hardware serial monitor. And then in loop, we first check to see if GPS.available returns true. If it does, that means that there are bytes inside of the serial buffer in the Arduino that can be read. And if there are, we read them using GPS.read and turn them into a character and print it. This casting to char here, where you put char in parentheses next to it, converts the integer value returned by GPS.read into a character, which we can then easily understand. If you don't do that when you run serial.print, you'll just see a bunch of integers flooding under the screen, which might not be that helpful to you. So now that we have our code and gone over it a bit, let's upload it to the Arduino. Uploading. And success. Let's open our serial monitor. There you go. And we start seeing a flood of GPS information. You see a bunch of different strings, uh, GP 
VTG, GPGSA, GPRMC, and a bunch of others. So the only one that we care about is the GPGGA string. So as you can see, it begins with a dollar sign, every line begins with a dollar sign, and it ends with a new line character. That's what creates this new line so that all the information isn't just on one line. And after the dollar sign, you can see it says GPGGA here. That's how you know that this is the line that we want. There are also a bunch of commas, which are separating the individual uh, values within the string. So some of them are latitude, longitude, and altitude. This one would, here would be where, about where altitude is, and the in here would be latitude and longitude. We'll go over that a bit more later. But once you actually have a GPS fix, this information should become much more filled out, and it'll include those coordinates and altitude in there. If you don't have a fix, you're not going to get very much useful information. Now that we know what it looks like, let's move on to a brief discussion about how the buffer actually works with the GPS and how we can write code that makes sure that we never overflow that buffer and therefore get meaningless data. Let's get to it.